With everyone at home at the moment due to the coronavirus, we're having a massive influx of calls due to people losing power. There's a few simple steps you can take to resolve the power issue yourself at home, rather than calling it out an electrician. Step one is to find a consumer unit, which is usually located in either the understairs cupboard or a toilet or a garage. In my own house, it's in the understairs cupboard with some smelly shoes. Um, a typical layout would be a dual RCD setup. So you'll have two RCDs. These are the most likely things to trip out. Um, a way to reset the power would be just to try and turn the RCD back on. If it trips out again, that means you've got a issue in your circuit. So one way you can do it is turn off all the circuit breakers to the so the left hand side of the RCD. So that RCD would control those circuits. That RCD would control those circuits. Many consumer units will work the other way. So you'll have a main switch that way and then an RCD controlled in the right hand side circuits. Um, what you can then do is try and reset the RCD with those circuits off. If it doesn't reset, that means you've got a, a problem with something either plugged in or a problem, problem on the circuit. So we, we can see this these circuits control what, what they're labelled as. So cooker, sockets, uh, this house has got solar panels, your first floor lighting and smoke alarms. So the most simple check would be to check the sockets. So we'll go around and unplug everything that that circuit controls. I know that circuit controls the kitchen sockets. So we can go around and unplug all the appliances or, or switch everything off. So this, that socket circuit controls the cooker hood and the hob, uh, toaster. When you do switch these off, make sure you unplug them as well, because the RCD was still trip if they're still plugged in. So even, even things like Amazon Alexa, your microwave, your fridge freezer, and your cooker. With these switches, they're, they're a double pole switch, so they both isolate the live and the neutral. And go back to the consumer unit and now it should reset unless you've got a circuit problem if you have a circuit problem you will need an electrician out to rectify it so now that's reset now we can slowly cycle through the circuit breakers so your cooker sockets solar panels first floor lighting and smoke alarms if it is your first floor lighting or your smoke alarms. Again, you can both disconnect these to see whether it will reset. And now we can go around the kitchen again and plug everything back in. So slowly turn everything back on with around a five second pause. And so we got the toaster. So the toasters just cause the RCD to trip back out. So there's going to be a problem with the toaster. So again, we'll go back to the consumer unit and then switch the circuit back on. So we can reset the RCD. Now that should stay on when we plug everything else in. Doing squats. So as you plug the other bits back in, just make sure they're working. So the kettle's working. Our coffee machine's a bit of a spaceship, I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, microwave. Alexa. Fridge freezer. Boiler. So if your RCD doesn't reset after doing all that, uh, give us a call and we can get an engineer out to rectify the issue. Thanks.